Hey guys, welcome to Prince of Peace Tarot. I'm Justin, and today I'll be doing a reading for those of you with Sagittarius placements in your chart. So if you have Sagittarius anywhere within your chart, this reading could resonate. And if it does, don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and hit the notification bell. That way you'll be updated anytime that I put out a reading. Okay guys, so before I jump into your spread, let's say a prayer. Infinite Creator, Olu Dumare, to my higher self, my Ori, Eshu, Obatala, to the Agul Marine Laie, Holy Spirit, Spirit Guides, to my benevolent ancestors, known and unknown, Florian Williams, Norman Williams, Axia Swilly, thank you for allowing me to source the most accurate reading for those with Sagittarius placements in their chart. All right, guys, we got a five card spread, including the top and bottom of the deck. Let's get into your reading. Um, your first card out is the five of swords in the reverse. And we have the five of wands. The Empress in reverse, King of Cups in the reverse, Wheel of Fortune in the upright. Okay? All right, rounding out the spread. Then we got uh, Page of Wands in the reverse, Page of Cups in the reverse at the bottom. Page of Wands at the top, Page of Cups at the bottom. All right, we got a lot of reversals, but you do have the Wheel of Fortune in the upright, which is really good. So, that the will of fortune and what do we have for your majors will of fortune and the empress okay now this this is good the empress is good uh will of fortune is good i don't think that the empress is necessarily talking about someone outside of yourself i don't really feel that i just feel that you guys need to be careful about getting used that comes up a lot okay you see this big heart here you guys have a very big heart all right. But it's in the reverse. You just got to be careful of people taking advantage of your kindness, um, of your resources. Definitely big time. I feel of your energy in this spread. One of the best ways to get out of this cycle of getting used is change. Um, and there's a lot of immature energy uh, in your reading today. A whole lot with the five of wands, page of wands. And Page of Cups all in the reverse, a lot of immaturity, okay? It doesn't have to be coming from you. I think it could be coming from others. But, you know, you'll know how mature you are if you engage in it too long, okay? So uh, this is a totally different deck that I'm using for you guys. And this reminds me of a, uh, a spread that I put down for you two readings ago. And we had, I think it was two readings ago. And we had the angel number 55. And here it is again with the five of wands, five of swords. All over again, totally different deck. Um, there is something moving, something cycling out. It's important. And the funny thing is, guys, I know when we wake up in our day-to-day -day life, um, sometimes you can feel the change, sometimes you don't. Um, things could be like one day repeating after the next, but when I pick up energies like this, just even if you feel like, Nothing new is happening. Try every day to do something different or to maintain in your mind that I am moving towards difference, you know? So there's something that needs to be let go. This big time, when you get the five of swords, five of wands, um, empress in reverse is moving you out of your comfort zone because the empress is totally comfor comfortable, okay? So now she needs to get a little uncomfortable in order for things to change and for the will of fortune to like activate, truly be activated to where you can get the things that you want on time, on time. Now, you also have a king of cups here in the reverse. When you get the king of cups, you get an opportunist and then the opportunist is sitting right next to the empress. OK, he is also connected to in the spread, the page of cups in reverse. This is somebody very seductive, someone you could be. Um, you could become connected to emotionally. Um, right now we are in retrograde. So I don't necessarily know if these are, um, people from the past coming back, trying to connect with you on an emotional level. Please be careful because, uh, the Empress and the Page of Cups are here and this energy is pregnancy energy. Okay. So if you're not looking to get pregnant, I mean, even here with Five of Wands, uh, Page of Cups is sexual energy. This could also be the energy connected to the King of Cups. So for some of you, um, 
be careful about, you know, who you are starting to date right now. They could still very be like active out there playing with a lot of people. Um, I mean, like I told you before, the, the immaturity here with all the pages is very present. There's also, it's not, I mean, give me one sec, because I had a thought. I'm about to lose it. <laughs> mm. Yeah, this King of Cups is an opportunist. It's the stealing of your innocence. Whoever this person is, uh, I don't know if you're dealing with a Scorpio or an air sign. Um, there is, uh, and guys, be mindful, there's a, I don't know if there's some something happening in Scorpio this month, but I know that uh, there is an, another eclipse on the 15th, um, a lunar eclipse. There's a lunar eclipse on the 15th, so we just came off of a new moon, solar eclipse, uh, Mercury's in retrograde, and then in a couple weeks, a week or so, um, we have a lunar eclipse occurring. So there's a lot of energy happening that could be fostering a lot of change. Um, yeah, definitely. The change that will move you in the right direction as long as you are willing to just step out of your comfort zone. Whatever that may be, your comfort zone could be, I date the same kind of people, I have the same morning routine, um, I'm only comfortable learning, studying this certain thing. I don't like to venture out into different spiritual practices. Uh, what else? I, I'm afraid to be more open, be more open. Um, I, I feel like I should start something on social media or on YouTube, but I'm afraid that people will see me. All this kind of stuff is, is trying to tell you like, hey, move out of that. Like there's no more need for excuses at this point in time. There's no point for an excuse. You might as well just try something new because this is a really good time to do that. Will of Fortune's in your favor for you to try new things and for them to end up successful. Mm-hmm. Yeah, especially with the wands. You have two wands energy, two cups energy. So there is some emotional, uh, fiery kind of energy going on right now. But you do have haters, as always, you know, with the five of swords, five of wands. You definitely have haters, but those haters are also trying to move you out of your comfort zone, depending on where they are. You know, if you're tired of them on your job and you've been wanting a new job, that's probably why they're starting to act up, you know? Give me a sec, y'all. See if I could fill anything else. Past the um, Page of Cups, we do have the Hierophant, okay? I don't know if this is uh, school for you all or just disciplining yourself spiritually listening to yourself. The Hierophant is the voice. At the top of the deck, past the Page of Wands, you have the Nine of Swords, some worry, uh, Six of Pentacles about, maybe for some of you, for some of you, money. For some of you, uh, if you will receive or if someone is giving to someone else, maybe. Hold on. Hmm, that's funny. So there's an imbalance here. There's some form of imbalance that's got you up. I don't know if it's in your finances. I don't know if it's in your career. Um, but here, I'll show you. See, because the six of pentacles shows him holding the scale, right? And he is giving one, giving to one. Maybe he might give to the other, but we don't see that. Then right after that, you have the chariot. OK, and this is balance. You see a uh, black and white horse here moving forward, but in the reverse, it's imbalance. So I don't know if you are giving too much to something or someone is giving maybe their love time or energy to somewhere someone else. But there is imbalance in an energy exchange. OK, there could be imbalance in your own energy, maybe at night. Maybe you're not getting enough sleep or something like that. And that, that could be necessary for you right now. If it's not sleep, you're worried about something. You're worried about money. You're worried about um, what someone else is doing um, or what you're not receiving from a particular thing you're a part of. It could be your work. You know, take it as it resonates. But we do have imbalance here. And then this is what keeps us up. So um, whatever that is in your life, you got to find balance. Again, with another six, right after the chariot, we have another six. Sixes indicate balance, harmony, equilibrium. And that was in the reverse. And sixes could indicate karmic energy. All right. 
Definitely four of pentacles in the reverse. You got to protect yourself or be willing to let something go. Um, when you get the Wheel of Fortune, Page of Cups, this is someone who is actually looking for harmony, um, looking for a harmonious relationship, looking for something more upbeat. This could be indicating that, you know, I haven't experienced that yet. And that is what I'm looking for that should manifest in my life right now. But this is also someone who um, is continuously motivated to seek the one, like their one true love kind of thing. But see, right now, the Page of Cups is in the reverse. So give it time when it comes to love. Otherwise, you fall for, and I've mentioned this before, you know, these immature King of Cups, Page of Cups types, type of energies. Okay, give me a second. Honestly, I do feel like if you get out of your comfort zone, the harmony you're looking for um, will manifest itself. Yeah, if you're looking for an upbeat union, it will, it'll come. If you're looking for harmony in your work or in your personal life, it'll come. But you got to get from where you are right now. I think a lot of people think that, that it, oh, I can get something when I'm dealing with another thing. You know, I'm not totally invested in her or him, but, you know, they still come around or they always talking to me. They always me messaging me or I, I met up with them the other day. Like that kind of stuff is the stuff you should stop doing. You know, if you know that someone has been such a detriment or a drag on your life, I don't know what your reason behind constantly keeping up a, a conversation or a day to day activity or the connection with them. And I can understand if you say, oh, I have children with them. But if we're not talking about children, then there's nothing else to talk about. You know, what else are you entertaining that could be, you know, holding you back? That's what this reading is talking about. You're entertaining something that's not for you and you got to you can't make excuses for it. And it's only because the universe recognize you having something. So when you emotionally invest like that, the universe reads that energetic investment. You know, that the that you care when they do or when they say something, you care. It, it, it sends off signals. So if you don't care anymore, you know, it'll come in time. You know, if you have separated yourself from certain things. But if you still care and you call yourself saying, I don't deal with this person no more, but you kind of really do, then this is what is kind of your holdup. You know, just let it go. Let it go. This uh, definite comfort zone energy here. Let it go. All right. That's the reading that I have for you. Uh, if it resonates, don't forget to like, share, subscribe and hit the notification bell. Mm, excuse me. <laughs> that way you'll be updated anytime that I put out a reading. If you want to book a personal reading, the link to book is in the description box below. All right, guys.